Once you have known about the Postman desktop application and the web application, you might be wondering which one to use. I am assuming that you are going to use the Postman for the first time or you may have heard about it and you are still wondering whether to use the desktop or the web application going forward. Let's look at some of the pros and cons of each, each of these applications and let's decide which one is better for your approach. First of all, it all depends upon which API you are going to test or work with. Note that the APIs generally can be classified into three types, public, private and partner APIs. Public API refers to those APIs that are available over internet. Whereas the private APIs are fully customized and available only within your network. It may be only for your product. The intermediary, namely the partner APIs are those APIs that is being exposed by the partners whose APIs might be hosted in their premise. So now when you are working with APIs, you need to first check which API you are currently going to work on. If your API is going to be on public API, then Postman desktop or the web application either is okay because the API is being hosted by a public internet. Hence, you won't face any issues even if you are going to use the web application. When it comes to the partner APIs, still the desktop and web both are still okay. The reason again being the assuming the partner APIs, if it is going to get hosted in the public network, then Postman web is okay. Whereas if the partner API is within a local network, such as in your site or customer premises, then Postman desktop version is the best option in this case. Finally, when it comes to the private APIs, most of the time the APIs is going to be hosted only within your local network. In such cases, the best option is to go with the Postman desktop application. As you have seen, the Postman, the desktop application is the most common one that is can be used across any of the scenarios. It doesn't matter whether, where the API sits. It can be only within your local network or it can be spread across the internet. You can still use it. Whereas when it comes to the Postman web app, it is always best to use it when it is freely available or accessible through the public internet. If it is going to be available only for the local network, then you may face some challenges accessing your services. Having known these points, I strongly recommend you to use the desktop app for seamless operations. Personally, I always try to use the desktop app because it's going to give me the full capabilities of the postman without any limitations on restrictions. Whenever I am going to work with APIs either in my local machine or my colleagues or even at my customer premises, the first thing I do is to just install the desktop app as the first step. Moreover, there are some points that you need to keep in mind when you are working with the Postman. First is that Postman had the Chrome app some time back, but now it's been deprecated. Hence, if you are using the Chrome app before, then is the right time to switch to the Postman desktop or the web application. Secondly, Postman releases a new update every two weeks. This means that you are going to get new features as well as the Postman UI may look a bit different every time you access it. This brings to the main point wherein you need to focus on the Postman concepts rather than relying on the UI or the navigation and so on. Since Postman keeps adding multiple features at a very frequent rate, you may notice that the UI changes a lot. Also, the navigation or the workflow also might be changing a bit. But if you focus on the core concepts of the Postman, like designing the APIs, testing the APIs, how to send the request and so on, then you should be comfortable with using the Postman in the long run.